Hi! Hi folks! Japan. When I made my first trip there three years ago, I was forewarned about the habit of the Japanese of gift giving. They love to give gifts. I didn't think any much of it when they told me, when I was informed about the gift giving, gift giving habits of the Japanese. I didn't think, I thought maybe a pencil or a pen. Gosh, was I mistaken. They go all out in giving gifts and they don't just give you a gift just to satisfy their cultural desire or requirement of giving a gift. They study the person and the gift is fitted a lot of times specifically for that person. Whereas here in the United States, we give you a gift card, go to the store and get what you want. Not in Japan, kids. A good illustration. I had made a video that I posted some months ago about the Japanese uh, rising sun, uh, the Japanese rising sun flag, and I said this. Hi, right, folks. When I go to Japan, I wish somebody would take me to a shop where I could purchase one of these big enough to fly from my flagpole in the back of my house. That's what I'm going to do, kids. Fly from the flagpole right in Texas on the Long Prairie. So, when I went to Japan at the Yasukini Shrine after visiting it, before the next to the Yasukini Shrine is their war museum, and inside the war museum they have a gift store. So, I made the purchase, just like I said in that video of the Rising Sun play. That's it, kids. Well, it seems like this couple in this photograph here on both sides of me, they had a different plan. <laughs> they gave me this big Japanese flag. That's a big one, isn't it? So you would think that's a big flag. They did not stop there. They gave me two of those Rising Sun flags, and here's the second one. <laughs> now listen, now that I got that huge rising sun flag, the next time I go to Japan, can someone give me a battleship so I can put that flag out? No battleship. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless Nihon Koku. <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs>